Hi. Uh, I'm sorry to just stop. Are you okay? I just... Mom, I can't do this today. I haven't been drinking. Sam, I just... I just wanted to see you. To tell me that you're getting out? May I come in? I think we've said everything we need to say to each other. We've said a lot. But we didn't say everything. And I would appreciate it if you'd give me one more chance, please. Come on in. Excuse the mess. Scout pulled out nearly all of her toys, and I haven't gotten a chance to pick them up yet. I'm sure Scout is very happy to be home and not locked in Sunny's compound any longer. I'm assuming that since you're all here, things have calmed down. Yeah, things have changed. What brings you by? I wanted to apologize to you for what I said at Thanksgiving. It was a cardinal sin as a mother, and I am truly sorry for Mom. that. No, no, I, I have more to say. I, I wanted to tell you how sorry I am for the constant disparagement of Jason. He is Danny's father. He is essentially Scout's father. You are a unit, you're a family, and more importantly, you're an adult. Mom. Perfectly. Mom, stop! Sam, I'm sorry. I didn't come here to upset no, you. I, I'm sorry. I didn't sleep much last night. Oh, yeah, well, you got a lot going on. And uh, you should just do whatever it takes to try to be easy about it. I, I, just, I just came to make amends and to let you know that I know that you should live your life the way you see fit and, and that I respect that your choices are your own. So, wait a minute, that's what this is all about? You came to make amends and to respect my choices? Is this an attempt to get me to accept your drinking? No, this is not sorry, about my drinking. I'm sorry, I'm not here for this your is... live and let live attitude right now, but you want me to accept drinking in your life so you can accept Jason in mine, right? I'm just your mom. <laughs> and I just still want to be in your life and I want to be in my grandkids' lives because I love you and I miss you. But not enough to do what's best for us. You, you don't realize what you do with your life affects all of us. Not if I don't do it in front of you. Uh, why can't I just live my own life at home away? Then do that, do that, Mom. I don't have to watch. Hey. Hey. Sorry for just no, stopping by. No, come in, please. Um, Hi. my mom was was just about to leave. Yeah, actually. Um, I was just on my way out. It was very nice to see you, Elizabeth. Yeah. Okay. I'm here if you need me. I'm sorry again for just showing up. No. Gosh, no. That's okay. What brings you by? Well, I wanted to talk to Jason. Is he here? No, he's not. So where is Jason? Uh, he's out of town. Work. Oh, well, I was reaching out because of Jake. Jake? Is everything okay? Yeah, 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 he's fine. Franco's in Geneva right now for a specialized treatment. And so I just thought it might be nice for Jason to spend some time with Jake, you know, to keep his mind off of things. Yeah, Switzerland, that's uh, pretty far away for treatment. Yeah, <laughs> and expensive. Franco is having some neurological issues. And Kevin said there's a doctor there that might be able to give him some answers. So we thought it was worth it, you know, for a little peace of mind. Of, of course, well, I, I hope. Everything works out okay. As far as uh, Jason goes, I um, I think it would probably be best if Jake reached out to him directly. Has he tried texting him? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I'll suggest that. Do you know when Jason will be back? No, no, I, I have no idea. <laughs> 